the Living Nativity. During the next 15 minutes, it is our privilege to visualize for you the Word of God that tells us about the first Christmas. We offer this to you in the hope that the true meaning of Christmas will always be at the heart of your celebration. The birth of Jesus was actually a fulfillment of the plan and promise of God. Down through the years, God had assured his people that a Savior would come. He first gave the promise to Adam and Eve. Later, he gave the promise to Abraham and then to King David. The promise became more specific through the prophets of God. Jeremiah foretold that the Savior would come from the line of David and be the righteousness of God's people. Isaiah foretold that he would be born of a virgin, that he would be called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. We remember well the words of the great prophet. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Almighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Even the place of the Savior's birth was foretold. It was the prophet Micah who told us that the city would be Bethlehem. Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Luke 2, verses 1 through 7. Shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you you will find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying,
the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. Luke 2, verses 15 and 16. seen them, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. Luke 2 verse 17. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod. Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. Matthew 2 verses 1 and 2. 
exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make a careful search for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. They opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, incense, and myrrh. Matthew 2, verses 7 through 11. Notice the participation of angels and people, rich and poor, men, women, and children. The message is that Jesus came for everyone. The Bible says God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ. This is why we have brought our message outside of the church and into the community tonight. The good news of Christmas is for all people. The good news that a Savior has come, that he has bought us back from death and Satan by his own death on the cross and his resurrection at Easter is for everyone. May this good news bring you the same peace and joy experienced by those who worshiped the Christ child on that first Christmas. May the love of the Christ child live in you and through you, not only during Christmas, but throughout your life. For he lives. He really and truly lives. Please join us in singing one verse of joy to the world at this time. We would like to invite you into our school behind you for some light refreshments and fellowship. The next presentation will be in five minutes. 